loving God's church, growing God's church. And they say, ye do nyame asafu na abwa amo nyame asafu enyini. Ye non ne bosumi imo messages a hudwa nyame maye mkwaya ebe prichi afahu. Bosumi ye mounso ena ye kaye in seventh anniversary ye kaye ye weka se ya wada ye di mfiye nson asafu. And until today's message Basically, it's about um, loving God's church, you know, um, growing God's church. And today being the beginning or the introductory aspect of the man's um, message or theme, I'm just talking about a role of, I mean, God's role in church growth. Yaka asafuninia. Nini na ane se unyame eni si na safo unyame eni na eni ni na safo ya yeny ya famu diye ya sediye ebe si yeny ni na ebi e dapo fro ne mum enano me fapem nini na so ano today's message is about um I mean the role of God God's role in growing God's church. If we do not understand the fact that it is God who builds God's church and it is God who grows God's church, uh, sometimes being a pastor or being a church member, in especially in uh, diaspora church, uh, mm-hmm. Ube ye burn out. Wan hui ya tumi bikuwa babu. Wan hui ya tumi bikuwa ube kase. Ah, asole kwa mami ni yampe mbere binti na. But say ya tia si ya say niyame asafu ni yeye afamu diyesi bado niyame asafu na niyame ena enini na safu. Ya tia si ya sa. Yesu suma ni yama shaya so. Ya tia si ya sa. Ya tumi a trust ni yangu pong for growth. Ya tumi rely on God. For growth. Say, you anti this perspective, ni ye as ya, or the four and we are, we yammer some ebetosini, and I wabemo ebebu. And unti, and the mass empty our munina, and today's message, the center, the centrality is the fact that it is God who grows God's own church. It is Oyunyankupon and Oyini na Safo. And unti, me ne owe sa so nyame, en na Oyini na Safo unti. Ye na famu di, e wasi ye yo, e ne se, e wasi ye do Oyunyankupon, ye do Oyunyami na Safo. We need to love God's church because it is God who grows God's church. And no ene, ye nye na so. Passage ya, ye kan ye, Matthew chapter, um, 16. Bra, yes, you so near, see, for the Tom Rebia. Now, why you almost am scacra? Why you almost test scacra? At a point in time, Jesus looked at the disciples and asked, and asked them a question. What, what, what do you, I mean, what is your view about me? You know? Um, when Jesus came to the region of uh, Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the son of man is? Hey, yes, you need a sign for no name. Would be a oh, yes, century name or small or more. You know, this is chapter sixteen of Matthew, and then Jesus comes and asks the disciples, "Who do people think I am?" And then, as a, as usual, if you should ask this question in Facebook, you receive different different answers. Ah. Uh, Different, different answers. But it's very good. Sometimes you ask, who do you, who do people say I am? It's a very, very wise question. Tom Rebia, it was a bro, was a narrow visa say, Bisa o yere, Bisa o kuno, Namekura, man for whom he say, Bisa o nia, Bisa o ba, Namekura, said Amitia. You know, uh, sometimes you can ask. Um, it takes humility to ask that question because. If you ask that question and you have a predetermined answer, 
you may be disappointed. Maybe how you see yourself may be different from how others would do what would see you. But Jesus came down to ask that simple question, you know, how do people uh, see me? How do people say I am? Hey, okay, the son of man is. Then the verse 14, they reply. Some say John the Baptist, sometimes quite interesting how people can compare you to others. The disciples said, <laughs> some say you are John the Baptist. Others say you are Elijah. And still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. In fact, they gave a high rating of Jesus, who Jesus is, by comparing him, you know, to, to uh, the giants in the Old Testament. All right? Um, some say you are John the Baptist, you are Elijah, you are Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And then Jesus moved from this, what we call the objective analysis. This was an objective question. How do people say, I am the son of man? Eh? Then he moves to what I call a more subjective. What do you say I am? So Jesus was more of a researcher. If you want to do research, you must be able to research to know how people say about a topic. So many views, perspectives. Then you being a researcher, you are yours. Now Jesus asked them, well, how do people say at the son of God, the son of man is? Then they tell you, Elijah, you are Jeremiah, you are this. And then he says, what about you, more subjective? Who, who, so, how do you say the son of man is? more subjective. Maybe Jesus is asking us this question, you know, although that is not the focus of my message today, but if Jesus should ask you, what is your view about who Jesus is? What will be your answer? If Jesus should ask you for the reason for your faith in Jesus, what will be the answer? Hmm? I keep on, I always remember this story. A young girl desiring to marry, went outside to bring somebody who was not a believer. She brought her, uh, him to introduce him to me and my friend, Pastor Reverend Echampo, Kwame Echampo. And this guy came, you look at the guy and everything shows that this guy is not a Christian. He is not a Christian. Then, of course, as pastor, we needed to um, interview this guy a bit so we could help the sister uh, our daughter in the, in Christ. Then the boy came and we asked her, so who is Jesus to you? And where is he? Then the guy's answer is, oh, yes, Christ. Then he began to scratch his hair. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> he said, Jesus is up there thinking about his wife and children. Then we, we began to sense that this guy, yeah, this is a wrong meat. <laughs> and the guy, if somebody should give you the answer that Jesus is thinking about his wife and children, then let us say, I have a cat. There will be only an argument in the name of the Lord. I have a lot of people who are here. But I have a lot of people who are here. I have a lot of people who are here. You know, this guy just said, Jesus is up there thinking about his wife and children, you know. Um, that clearly tells us who this guy is, whether he has relationship with Christ or not. You see, if Jesus should ask you, who do you, who do people say the son of God or Jesus is? What about you yourself? If we should come to the level, the realization that um we have that close relationship with Jesus, and we know who Jesus is. He is our Lord, he is our Savior. You know, we should come to that level where Jesus becomes real to us. Now, back to the context. Jesus asked the disciples, how do you also say I am? But what do you, he asked, who do you say I am? Then you know Simon Peter, um, yeah, the assistant, he, he said, Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Wow. 
Only the long awaited anointed one. Only a Jim Quano, only Nia was Rano, only Obia or Jim Quana, a ye, ah, only on Yanko Pomba. In other words, you are God, you are God incarnate, you are the Son of the Living God. Then the verse 17, Jesus answered, you know, Jesus is the master teacher. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. But by my father in heaven, okay? By my father in heaven, wow. And I tell you that you are Peter, on, and on this rock, I will build my church. You see, on this, you are Peter. You are the rock. You are the foundation. You are someone from whom this truth has been revealed, that Jesus is the son of the living God. And based on that confession, as sometimes, of who Jesus is, I will build my church. In other words, what God uh, P, uh, Jesus is saying here is the fact that, you know, um, I like the phrase or the, the sentence. He says, I will build my church. That is the, I mean, the climax of my message, the core, the essence of my message. Jesus is saying, you are Peter, okay, of course. And he, Jesus is saying, I will build my church. Beloved, I want to say that we got to love God's church for it is God who grows God's church. It is God who grows the church. Okay? Why am I saying that? Because God or Jesus, let me use this interchangeably, you know, is the subject of God's of, of church growth. You see, Jesus is the architect of growing designing and growing God's church. Jesus is the engineer. Jesus is the chief um, um, architect. In fact, Jesus is the one who designs, you know, who designs church growth. And we should come to that realization and yet back when I was a man, no one of which she don't cry yet. Yes, yes, yes. You say growing God's church, a yes, growing God's church, a Jesus. Okay, why? Let me give you a number of points I've outlined here. Um, right from this statement by Jesus, it implies that you know the founder of the church, the builder of the church, the architect of the church, the engineer of the church, the agent of growth, he brings to being. He is the founder of the church. And who is he? It's Jesus. You know, Jesus says, I, I, okay, will build my church. The verse um, 16, he says that, um, um, verse 17, and um, um, the 18, he says, you are Peter, okay? And then I, upon this rock, he says, I will build my church. Wow. Beloved, God's church, the church, we have what we call the church universal. Whoever has believed in Jesus Christ, Accepted the Lord Jesus as personal Lord, accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior is part of the church universal. But sometimes, when we are talking about church growth, we are not talking about the universal church because that one is invisible. We cannot see the number of people who have believed. We only know the number of people who believe in Jesus Christ and genuinely God say before that plane crash. We cannot tell, uh, okay? But we are talking about the local church as a model. Germans will say the ox gemeinder, the local church like Amazing Grace Baptist Church, like Christus Church, Altona, any local church that comes to mind 
is meant, okay? As far as we are humans are concerned, we as humans are concerned. And Jesus is saying, I will build my church. Yes, to say, mercy must suffer. Mercy must suffer. I will build my church. He will build his church. I said, yes, to say, a sorry no, or no, na will see a sorry. Ya ka sorry ya. And they say, ni papu aji yesu edi. Wama wa hon kwa yese, yesu ni ajem kwa. Odi wa wakuma, odi wa uwe nina ashe, wama wa ma, wa hon kwa yese, yesu mrame di, ni wa abrabo. Mien suma ji edi, wu wa ji edi, ye nina ya ji edi, eni yesi, eni ye nina ya nkambo, na ya sume rade. Ya no ni the local church. So the local church, is the um the community coming together of believers who have believed in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and who have allowed themselves to be indwelled by the Holy Spirit and who come together for a common purpose of edifying themselves, proclaiming the good news, having social concerns, okay. And that is what is meant by the local church. When the local church, you will be able to yes, ready. What for yes, so in a crowd, one in a gym, now one more one who can say, young kika, young, we are who boom, and who you know, and in the local church. And Jesus is saying, if we begin to come together as a church, oh, yes, then the founder of that church is who is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The founder is Jesus. In fact, um, if human beings perchance are used by God as instrument, we human beings cannot take the credit and the glory. No, if human beings plant a church, like a pastor or whatever church planter, it is God's spirit at work in the person, okay? Maybe if God's spirit is not working in the person, that person would have opened the bar or a petition corner. Say, yes, and you don't know what Jim may so suffer. And now I don't know who might not be more. Anka Elbia, maybe a petition bar, Cabina, Elbia, maybe a petition bar, and my petition amount for Elbia, no Bura, Macau, Bobimo, maybe a true, maybe a. I don't tell you, you're my own home. And now, Eddie or software, any man has a child planted be any more as you are sorry. I don't tell you, you know, no, you can't be a baby. Name me your young crop. Jesus says, and I will build my church. You know, Jesus grows God's church. He grows the church because he's the builder of the church. I don't tell you, you're my self or no other for a sorry no, you're my nursing a self woe. When you're my nursing a self I did about quite amazing for any other four platform is so make us here in our own crying is sad and your question for soon. I have be be and now sorry, I'm paying for now. I have be a yes, scenario or no now. Oh, see, not suffer. It is God who is building God's church. Oh, yes, and it is high time believers we come to understand that the chief and the architect of the church, the designer of the church, is Jesus Himself. Hallelujah. He is the agent of growth, the church growth. Because the four pempa aye or kasa. Those some of us who are interested in technology, you know, sometimes we say you are buying a tablet or you are buying an iPhone or you are buy, buying a laptop, and then they will say, this is refurbished by the hair sheller or um, the manufacturer. I say, Hallelujah. And in the same way, God, Jesus says, He is the builder of the church and He understands the church. He understands the role of the pastor, the role of the church member. He will understand the building where we are meeting. He understands the details of the church more than we, more than us, as 
members. So um, we've got to love God's church. It is God who makes it happen and grows the church. And why? Number one, because Jesus says he is the founder of the church. The local church he is the founder. He is the founder. Number two, um, Jesus, the church, is likened to the body of Christ. When you read the metaphor of the body in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 onwards, Jesus, you know, Paul makes that illustration and applies the metaphor of the body. Now, it is God, and for that matter, Jesus who grows his church. Because the church itself is the body of Christ. He is the head of the church. Wow. So it is a responsibility of Jesus to grow the body. Okay? The body, the church is the body of Christ. The church is the body of Christ. So it is God who grows the church. He grows the body. All right? It is God's idea that when a church is established, the church will grow holistically. Say, a sorry no yati a sorry. Na a sorry no ne na inkwa ne nini ne nsa nini ne yafuru nini ne tiri nini ne ni nini ne huri nini ne kwa u nini ya na ni pare tiwa na na inkwa ne nini ya wa mbe ya ukuna uru ya beho ana se a body no ne yafuru kwa ne nini ya Debbie, oh, Rebbe, who? And was a sorry no, a yinny holistically. Nanya obe and sure, sir, a sorry yinny holistically, being in all dimensions, in all areas, the church will have to grow. The one who will ensure that is Christ, because he is the head of the church. And that is why we need to trust God for growth, we need to trust Jesus for growth. Because Jesus is the head of the body. Jesus is the head of the church. All right? And we got to trust in this. You know, we got to trust in that. Um, Ephesians chapter um, um, 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22. Let me read that. You know, one passage in the Bible, one book in the Bible that talks about the church is Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 1. Um, he says, And God placed all things under their feet and appointed him to be the head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Ah, because of Jesus, no, see Jesus, I only me as a fullin eti na. I say, and God place all things. I mean, the baby has an answer. I'm sorry, what you baby has an answer? Jesus, okay. He appointed you over the head over everything for the church, which is the body, the fullness of Him who fills everything in every way. Wow. Let's trust Jesus. Let's trust God for God's growth because he is the head of the church. He is the head of the body. He is the head. That is something that we've got to understand. Beloved, you know, this has a far-reaching implication. If Jesus Christ is the head of the church, okay, it means that the church is the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that metaphor underscores the importance of unity, spiritual maturity, and communal bond, rather than sheer numbers. You see, I will come to talk about the role of the church member for church growth. Maybe God willing, Sunday, I'll talk about the role of the pastor and leaders for church growth. But 
Um, onyame yesu ononi asafuni tree and I yeah, 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 the members of the body. I don't see the members ought to work in unity. The members ought to love themselves, each other. If the hand doesn't love the neck or the leg, then the body cannot function well. All right? So communal bond, unity, play or play very significant role for grow, the growth of God's church. And unity, um, Jesus grows his church. And what we are saying is that, number one, because he is a fan of the church, number two, he is the head of the church. We are the members of the body, okay? Number three, the church is dearly loved by God, and God ensures the growth of the church why? Because Jesus is presented in the Bible as the bridegroom of the church. So the church is just the bride of Christ. We are just the bride and Jesus is the bridegroom. Hmm? And uh, um, Paul says, husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church, which is his bride. In other words, ah, uh, yes, you do asafono, because yes, you know, asafono ye yes, you hear it. And until you have any kum na safo, no matter how weak we may be, no matter how fragile the church may be in this world, you know what? Jesus loves the church. One of all. Yes, you don't have to I don't think I have to ask for when you are here. Because you have to ask for you to ask for no. Jesus loves the church. Jesus loves the church. No matter how weak we may think the church is. How unprofessional sometimes the church may be. But I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what Ye fa hunu se, ni adroi di e a se e ta inya feno. Ni amina ni wama musi na robi. Obi hunya ofe, uhu na na abu ofu. Ni anso obi onsa ni pakwa na koshi ya obi ya odone pa onti ni hujai. Anu onti ni se u. Yeah, oh, now, and when Oh, how? Because when you and now when you hear it, on who do you don't know? Oh, don't until you would die, or bow a grandpa to us all from me. Hm, and then I mean your mouth. Who's also to us about your grandpa, my grandpa, when you have any any? Shy, when you could Oh, feeling it Yes, Christo. Jesus loves the church. On ten asafu, yo asafu no yes Christo. Eh, you need bread yo. And then you ti asafu na wet Jesus. He loves the body. Obi had on the body. Jesus loves the church. Hallelujah. Jesus is you know the bridegroom, and it is not this kind of uh, whimsical and capricious bridegroom. Name Ray Obi to meet us all made dog, but we've been all pale boy and get dog. I by us who don't in the air, Jesus loves the church, he loves the church, he's so much in love of the church. Yes, who don't have for or don't have suffer and untina, yes, or that was an asafu being in it or no, no, in it, not suffer. No, my aban say, I'll give him a Jesus loves his church because the church is his body. The Paul paint the church as the bride of Christ. Oh, yes. I am for Kuru or no, or ba, a member, yes, you bet, ba, about my fan as suffer. You bet, she are no, you need a woman to teach. Jesus loves the church because the church is his bride and it's his body. Wow, hallelujah! Near a chat 
Yenti o nyame ndo na safu ni eni kum na safu no ba kasa safu ni mengi ni ene se. Okati repita se. Then I will build my church. Yeah, was it I? Yes, we are casual. Was it me? Me see myself for no reason. Was it now? As some do I prune to me in your day? In King Faso, I will build my church, and the gates of hell. Hallelujah! The gates of hell can never prevail. If I for so build a church, the gates of hell can. But if Christ build the church, then it cannot because it is Christ. He is so strong. He is so mighty. He is so omnipotent. He is so protective. He is so jealous. He is so strong. He loves the church. And on the one to now hop and man na safu muda. On to now hop and man na safu ni ni muia senta. On to now hop and ma bonsam and kim fa na safu so de biaranta. I say I will build my church. Let me give you a scenario so I bring my person message to an end. You know, Paul thought that he was defending Judaism. And he went about killing, persecuting the church. And then on that road, on his journey to Damascus, what we call the Damascus encounter, the Damascus experience, Paul encountered Jesus. You know, Jesus says, I will build my church in the gates of hell, the gates of persecution, the gates of hell can never overtake him. And Jesus encountered Paul, and he tells Paul, you know, that great lightning, you know, that Paul encountered. Paul acknowledged that Jesus is the Lord. He says, hey, are you Paul, 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 Saul, Saul, Paul, you know? Saul is his Hebrew name. Paul is his, his Hebrew the Roman name. Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Ah, nyami anka se. Abde na u persecutu, eo nyami ma wa sorry num. Nemo wa se, abde na u persecutu mi yesu. Because the church is the body of Christ. Nanuti, yesu kiso ni Paul bon kuni mbu. Why? Because he will build his church and the gates of hell can never overtake. Nanuti lu se, obi ni o nyami asa fu nya. Ni o ni yesu ne nya. Okay? In the same way, a misdeed done toward the church is directly or indirectly done towards the Christ. Because Yesu the gates of hell can never overtake him. As someone who put on end to me in Faso, Mami Wata end to me in Faso, Occultic powers end to me in Faso, Bayer to me end to me in Faso, because the church is the body of Christ. Christ is building his church. Hallelujah. That is the gospel. That is the truth. That is the message. Loving God's church, growing God's church. We got to trust in this God for growth because He is the founder of the church. Jesus is the head of the church. Jesus is the bridegroom. The church is the bride of Christ. And Jesus, of course, says that He will build His church and the gates of hell can never overtake it. 2024, April, you move. Get your proper perspective about the church and let's love God's church. Let's seek to grow God's church. Or the four, mo ma ye no nyami asafo. Na ye nje so nyami asafo be nyini. E san so nyami ye ni kum na asafo. O nyami do na asafo. O nyami be pe, o be pe se. Na asafo, e be tu mpon. Nyami shila o so be ye sa. Nyami en kan o. Bibi biya ra o be ywa. E be bwa mo nyami asafo e tu mpon na ye krabe she. Bo so me ne yi mo. Jene ho ne tu mwa na mo. Na o soro so be kasama. O soro e be tine ni mwa chile o. Nyami e isla o do fo. Mo ma yankwe rali e nim. E wo empai boom. 